From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. Still ahead on Let's Talk Live, are you looking to spice up your Valentine's Day? Oh, Whoopi Queen Cindy Bragg will be here to share her tips on how to rev up the romance in your life. Oh dear, she's <laughs> always fun. All right, it is that time of the year again. Valentine's Day just two days away now. <laughs> and whether you are in a new relationship or you've been married for years, the Whoopi Queen Cindy Bragg is here with some tips on how to rev up the romance in your life. Wow, we need this. We do. You know, I'm here to give a little love life some more power. All you right. just look like a little love life with a lips <laughs> all over your dress. Where am I going to wear this? A parent teacher night? No. I'm wear here. Very cute. All right, so your, your ideas are, first of all, you need to be good friends, right? Right. But, I, you know, to people typically think with romance that they're going to need, like, oils and lotions and chocolate and little fans and, Smells. you know, candles. Mm. And, although they're wonderful, right? Right. Um, I've got some tips on how to keep the love alive for the long haul. That's, so that's what, we what we're focusing yeah, we on. We want to go for the long haul. Right. Okay. All right. And there's feathers flying everywhere, which is fabulous. <laughs> All right. So the first tip I've got is do you speak the language of love? All right. Do you speak it, the language of love? It depends <laughs> on the day. <laughs> Not every day. Not every day. <laughs> and I'm not talking French or Italian, all right? There are actually love language. How many languages, how many do you think there are? What, what, is, what are you talking about? What, what exactly. is a love language? I'm, I'm not, here I'm to not, answer. Okay. okay. So there are five love languages, according to a man named Gary Chapman. And he has um, an institute where they created a whole system of how we like to be loved. Wow. And you can go on his website. It's love, fivelovelanguages.com. And you can take a little quiz to see how you like to be loved and how your partner likes to be loved and see if you're compatible and how you might need to make some adjustments. Mm. Oh. Things from touch, like do you like to be hugged? Mm. Do you like acts of service? Do you like someone to you know, get you a drink at a party? Mm. You know, like how does your boyfriend or your girlfriend take care of you and is that meeting your needs? So mm -hmm. go on that site, take the little quiz, it's super fun. Okay. Know your love language. Right. Right. Speak of the language of love. Okay. okay. Second tip, um, I have this graffiti art here and I'm going to tell you why. But the tip is consider friendship the flame of romance, okay? Now that's counterintuitive a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Right. But I don't know if guys get that, because when you say to your husband that you've been married to for 15 years, can we be friends? You know, <laughs> they don't really get it. They don't get it, and you're so busy doing all the things that you need to do that sometimes you lose each other. Sure. And so when you're in a new relationship, that doesn't get lost because you're discovering That's each other. That's right. But there's this great scientist, his name is John Gottman, and he runs a love lab in Washington. And he's written quite a few books called the you know, Seven Principles of Making Marriage Work, and he's a relationship expert. And he's found that with they, what they do is they have couples come in and they watch them interact over a weekend, and scientists are recording how their interactions go, and they found that this key to long-term relationship success is friendship. And I have found this uh, with people now are starting to ask me questions because I'm doing positive psychology with a little splash of whoopow. Mm -hmm. Got a little thing on my website called Ask Cindy and I got a letter and this woman said, like you, been married for, you know, she's been married for 23 years and I'm bored with his stories. And so what I'm suggesting, <laughs> she's just bored. Okay. She bored him. You gotta shake it up. Okay. All right? Uh -huh. You gotta get to know each other again in a new way. And I'm not talking date night where you go to a movie because that's boring after 15 years of marriage. You gotta do things where you're rediscovering each other. And there's this great site, if you need ideas, called SideTour.com. And they're all over the country, but in D.C. they have this fun little thing for this um, activity where you can go and learn how to do graffiti art. The, Together? The, yes. Okay. You just both book it. It's not a couple's site. It's just a site where you could go and do these fun activities. So if you need ideas, SideTour.com. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, they have. And you probably don't have to spend an arm and a leg like you would if you went on an exotic vacation. Yeah, they're like $30. Yeah. They have, you know, mansion tours. In New York City, mm -hmm. they have, you can go on a mob tour and see all the mob bosses oh. work. So it's a really fun, if you need ideas. It's such a great idea because you get in your ruts, mm -hmm. right? You kind yes. of get in your regular routines. It's the kids and it's this and that and, and, and who's the dinner right. and, you know, and who's driving. And, and there, there isn't any time to play together. Yeah. You know, this You've got to reconnect idea. that way. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, tip number three. So she's very contemplative because she's got these two little words, always and never. These words are very dangerous, right? You always cut me off. You never defend me in front of mm. your, your you know, mother. All right, these words are homewreckers, <laughs> and we're going to kiss them goodbye. All right, right. Two to never one. say never, never, always and never. Never and say never and always. And always. Right? All right, got it. All right, last tip. So 
surprise the one you love with a heartfelt gift. And, and the key word here is surprise. All right, because we get into this thing in our relationships and it's, um, we, we sort of adapt to our level of pleasure. And so you're with somebody for a while and you're just sort of, you know, okay, he got me flowers again. Okay, even if it's a new relationship for a year, you know, oh, we're going on another date. So you've got to adjust and surprise the person you love. Mm. And for Valentine's Day, I thought, what better way than to do a singing Valentine? I love Isn't that. Isn't that idea. fun? Wow. Yes. Great. Great. And we happen to have a, <laughs> our ah! own group here no. in BC. Ah! Yes, we do. Oh my God, now they're we are the surprised. BC <laughs> Singing Capital Chorus. Really and they're for you to have your very own singing Valentine. Oh, hit my it, guys. Guys, take a look at this. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me too. Keep a love light glowing in your eyes so.